Well, hi, everyone. We're getting ready and really excited to welcome you back into the church building this Sunday, October the 4th. Uh, one of the questions you might be asking is, should I attend in-person worship? And to that, I would say, if you've already resumed activities like shopping in stores, eating at restaurants, going into gas stations, and traveling for vacation, then you are likely ready to resume in-person worship with us at the Church by the Lake, as each of those activities presents similar risks. At the same time, I think you will find that the protocols we have in place will go a long way in keeping you and your family safe. Uh, we thought it might be helpful to walk you through some of the protocols and the changes so that you may properly prepare for Sunday. And so let's begin outdoors and make our way inside for the worship service. Uh, outside, in the parking lot, we encourage everyone to wear their masks if social distancing is not possible. Please keep space between your bubble group and other bubble groups as you make your way to the entrance and if or when you must wait for the person or group ahead of you to finish entering. On Sunday mornings, only two entrances will be unlocked to the public. The lake entrance, which is the frequently used entrance at the lake end of the building, and the main entrance, which is the entrance facing Church Street. These doors will be unlocked at 10 a.m. for your entry. As you approach the building, you'll notice on the doors the requirement to self-screen for COVID-19 symptoms prior to entering the building. And so if you are experiencing two or more symptoms associated with COVID-19, please do not enter the building until a future time when you are feeling better. As you make your way inside, you will encounter the first greeter. Morning, welcome. Good morning, hi. Do you need a mask today? Oh, thank you. I forgot. I actually have a mask with me. Perfect. And have you pre-screened for any symptoms of coronavirus? Well, that depends. If by pre-screening you mean check before I came, if I have two or more symptoms of coronavirus, then I did, and I don't have two or more symptoms. Perfect. Let's just grab you some hand sanitizer. Oh, thank you. And could I get your name and number? Yes, my name is Ryan, mm -hmm. and my phone number is 555-5555. Perfect, and you can just head out into the Connection Center and get your kids registered. Awesome, sounds great. Thank you so much. Thanks. The use of face masks is strongly encouraged. It's more than just a friendly suggestion. Hi. In Hi. Just, in just a second, I'm going to get you to fill out your kids' registration forms. But for now, um, since you're new with us, could you fill out this connection card too? I would love to. And then you can just stick it in any of the connect boxes. There's one here and there's one in the vestry. Mm -hmm. um, and you can also leave offering in those boxes too. Mm -hmm. And then once you're done with this, you can just head up the stairs towards the sanctuary and somebody will help you get seated. That sounds perfect. Thank you so much. Great. And from the Connection Center, you will be guided to the vestry for seating in the sanctuary or in the vestry overflow if the sanctuary is full. Remember, you're now wearing your mask and you and your bubble group are maintaining a minimum of six feet, two meters, of distance between you and other individuals or bubble groups. If you are inside the building, and then need to leave the building for whatever reason prior to 11 o'clock, maybe you forgot something in the car, then you must leave through the old entrance behind the sanctuary or through the gym and out one of the gym doors. This is to help eliminate a bottleneck of two-way traffic, especially in the connection center area. The front pew and every other pew following on each side of the sanctuary will be roped off to seating. The chairs in the vestry overflow will be spaced appropriately. Generally speaking, the sanctuary will be filled from the front to the rear, followed by the vestry overflow. When you enter a pew, please move toward the middle as appropriate in order to maximize our seating capacity. We recognize that favorite pews might be roped off or unavailable. Thank you in advance for showing grace towards your neighbors. 
A minimum of two meters of physical distance will be required between family and friend bubble groups. Your family and friend bubble consists of anyone with whom you regularly spend time. The use of a face mask will allow you to leave and return to the sanctuary or the vestry if you need to get up for some reason, to use the washroom, to tend to children, or yeah, to again go back to the car for that item that you forgot. What about singing? Well, I'm glad you asked. Musical worship will be led by team members from the platform. Those in the congregation may hum or sing softly from behind their masks. Forceful singing is strongly discouraged due to the added projection of droplets. This is one of the trade-offs to meeting together. In the building, we must sing softly behind our masks. At home, while enjoying the live stream, we may sing at the top of our lungs. Families with children will sit together in the sanctuary until the time in the service when instruction is given for the children to head off to the spring and the stream. Following the service, parents will proceed to the second floor landing via the kitchen staircase to pick up their children. Proper physical distancing is still in effect at this point as well. The children, who will all be meeting in the youth room on the third floor, will be released to their parents. Families will then walk down the second floor hallway and exit the building at the lake entrance. At the end of the worship service, those individuals and groups without children who are still in the sanctuary or the vestry will be directed to leave the sanctuary and exit the building at the closest exit point. And in order to avoid any confusion, we're asking that you please stay seated until your row or your seating section is given the go-ahead. I know this sounds like a lot to keep in mind, but after just a couple of weeks, we're all going to be pros. We encourage folks to greet one another as appropriate in the parking lot following the service. If it's a fine day, consider inviting a newcomer or someone you want to have a co an extended conversation with to step outside with you where you can remain physically distanced but remove your face mask for the conversation. And our hope for this Sunday and every Sunday following is that we will be especially mindful of those around us. For some, this may be the, the very first large gathering they have experienced in six months. The fact that we will be wearing masks and socially distanced also means that we will each need to go the extra mile and step up the way that we welcome one another and help others to feel welcomed and safe. Maybe you consider making it a practice to invite someone out to fellowship with you at a local coffee shop or out to lunch after the worship service, or if you're comfortable, back to your home for lunch with you. See you on Sunday, but not before 10 a.m. God bless you.